Ladies and gentlemen, the Parade Commander will now greet the Parade Host, Assistant Commissioner, Tony Wright, Education and Training Command. Ladies and gentlemen, the arrival now of the Commissioner of the Queensland Police Service, Mr Bob Atkinson, and the Commissioner's Staff Officer, Acting Superintendent Ian Thompson.
the principal official guest, representing the Government of Queensland, the Honourable Julie Atwood, MP, Parliamentary Secretary for Health and Member for Mount Omni, accompanied by the Ministerial Liaison Officer, Inspector Peter Brewer. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the Australian National Anthem, sung by Acting Sergeant Nikki Steele. Police officers in uniform are requested to salute. Australians all their hearts rejoice, for we are young and free. We've golden soil.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Commissioner of the Queensland Police Service, Mr Bob Atkinson, will now address the parade. Well, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to the Queensland Police Academy for this uh, special occasion, this graduation parade. I'd like to start by acknowledging the traditional owners of this land, the Jagera people, the traditional owners in the land on the south side of the Brisbane River. I acknowledge as well their ancestors and any representatives who may be here today. I acknowledge our principal guest today, representing the Minister for Police, Corrective Service and Services and Emergency Services, the Honourable Neil Roberts, and that is the Parliamentary Secretary for Health and the member for Mount Omini, Mrs Julie Atwood. Ms Atwood, thank you for being here today and joining us and representing our Minister on this occasion. Uh, we have a number of other state political representatives here today as well. The Shadow Minister for Police and Emergency Services, the Member for Noosa, Mr Glenn Ellis, the Member for Springwood, uh, Barbara Stone, and the Member for Chatsworth, Stephen Kilburn. We thank all of you for your attendance. And I acknowledge all of my colleagues in the Senior Executive of the Queensland Police Service, but particularly our three deputies who are here today, uh, Ian Stewart, Ross Barnett, and Paul Brown, uh, and of course, uh, Assistant Commissioner Tony Wright, who is the Assistant Commissioner for our newly appointed Education and Training Command, and has responsibility, obviously, for this academy and for our training statewide. We acknowledge as well today all of our colleagues and other state government departments representing the Department of Community Safety uh, today is Mr Alan Butler. Uh, as well, uh, we acknowledge uh, our colleagues in the Australian Federal Police and they are represented today by the local commander, Mark Walters. You would have seen the magnificent work of the Australian Defence Forces in recent months when we went through floods and cyclones. And we particularly welcome today the representatives of the Australian Defence Forces, um, Commander of the 7th Brigade, uh, Paul McLaughlin, uh, and representing the Navy, uh, Lachlan King. Uh, we also welcome today uh, a number of representatives from the Crime and Misconduct Commission, the Chair, the Honourable Martin Moynihan, Assistant Commissioner Warren Strange, and Miss Helen Cooper. Also today we have the presidents of both police unions, the Queensland Police Union of Employees President, Mr Ian Leavers, and the president of the Queensland Police Commission Officers Union, Mr Tony Cross. Soon you will see a number of awards uh, that are presented for outstanding achievement. It's an outstanding achievement for all 95 officers who are graduating, but some have received special awards. And I'd like to acknowledge the providers of those awards, wonderful supporters who have been with us for many, many years. Queensland Police Credit Union, Metro Ford, the RACQ, the Lena family, the Women's Network, Scouts Queensland, the Bowden family, the Butler family, Community Supporting Police, the Ethnic Communities Council, the Police Citizens Youth Club, the Buddhist Compassion Relief Foundation. Thank you for your support. We have as well, <coughs> excuse me, some very special guests here today. Uh, one of our officers being sworn in today is Chelsea McCluskey and her father, Superintendent Tom McCluskey from the Vancouver Police in Canada is here for that occasion, just over here in the, uh, the dark uniform. And uh, his wife, um, Leah, who is also a sergeant of the Vancouver Police. That's very special. I understand that uh, Tom also has a son in the Vancouver Police, but Tom, uh, Chelsea has seen the light and decided to join us here in Queensland. And another officer whose daughter is being sworn in today is Sergeant Glenn Wicker, and uh, he and Mrs Wicker are here, and their daughter is Christ Christy Wicker, so that's uh, special as well. So, as indicated, today we swear in 95 new police officers. We also swear in five new police service dogs. Four general duties dogs, Han, who will be based at Bundaberg, Yoshi and Zed, who will be based on the Sunshine Coast, Hooch, who will be based at Ipswich, and a bomb dog, or a more properly titled, an explosive ordnance response team dog named Fanta, who with his handler Mark Menfold will work from Brisbane but throughout Queensland in that role. So 95 new officers and five dogs, that's 100 in total. And uh, if there's going to be any publicity, it's a bit of a no-brainer really. You may have read the Courier Mail today and seen that the publicity went to uh, the Labrador. The bomb dog Fanta, and so one dog outweighed 95 new police officers by the sound of it. Unfortunately, that seems to go with the tooth. What a special day this is. 
for all of the officers before you. Today is a start of a new career and a whole new life for them. They've spent almost the last seven months here at the Police Academy uh, being trained and prepared for what they are about to do. And in that context, can I also acknowledge the wonderful work of the training facilitators here at the Police Academy, both sworn and staff member officers. These officers before you are as well prepared as they can be to face and deal with what they are about to undertake. But they can't stay here forever, or they have to go out and do the work. Their first 12 months, though, will be spent together with a training officer in the field operationally in that support. Today is also a milestone for us in the police service because the swearing of these officers today will take our sworn numbers in Queensland to over 10,500. So can I say to all 95 of you, thank you for choosing this as your occupation, but by so doing you have taken on a great responsibility. Not only is it a major change for you, but also for your families. And in that sense, it's wonderful to see so many family members and friends here today to share this occasion. And thank you for your support for these 95 new police officers. That's been important in the last seven months. It'll be equally important, if not more so, into the future. To be selected as a police recruit is of itself an achievement. To get to this point is a greater achievement. The standards are high, and only a small proportion of those who apply reach this point where they are today. And the journey they start today can take them anywhere in Queensland, can take them to any area of the service, they can all aspire to reach any rank in the service. There are many worthwhile occupations, but what we basically and fundamentally do is provide for the safety and security of the four and a quarter million people in Queensland, and we think that's a very worthwhile thing to do. And on behalf of all my colleagues and senior executive, there are many, many things we'll ask of you, but some of the most important of them are these. That you always honour your oath of office and the statement of ethics that will soon be adopted on your behalf by Constable Land Smolders. That you be professional at all times. That you treat the public as you would want members of your own family to be treated by other police officers. That you place a high value on teamwork, people, our performance and our partnership with the community. And that accepting that unavoidably with the work you're about to do, there is an, el an element of risk and danger that you do all you can to minimise that risk, avoid being complacent, and stay alert and be aware. And finally, even though you will see the darkest side of life starting from Monday, we ask you not to become cynical by that, but rather be inspired by the importance of the work you do and the very many good things that you will see as well as the dark things. There are a few things that you can be certain of, but I believe, and I know my colleagues and the senior executive believe, uh, that the future of policing is in good hands. Uh, the evidence of that is in the calibre, character and future ability of the 95 people before you. Having said that, we know that to retain community support, we must work hard and ourselves never be complacent and continue with the ways to improve. So in closing, again to all of you, congratulations, well done, stay safe and welcome to the Queensland Police Family. Thank you, Commissioner Atkinson. The Commissioner will now formalise the graduation of five police dogs into the service. The police dogs and their handlers have undertaken a 14-week training course at the Queensland Police Dog Squad, where they have been trained in general purpose and explosive ordnance duties and will be deployed within Brisbane and regional locations. The courses are completed in Brisbane under the guidance of the State Coordinator, Senior Sergeant Terry Cantwell. Senior Instructor Steve Palmer will lead the, lead the graduating dogs on parade today.
Police dog Yoshi is the first police dog for his handler, Senior Constable Trent Reynolds, and they will be stationed at the Sunshine Coast Dog Squad, where they will perform general duties as a police dog team. Police dog Fanta is the first police dog for his handler, Senior Constable Mark Penfold, and is stationed at the Explosive Ordnance Response Team, where they will perform explosive detection duties as a police dog team. <laughs> Police dog Harm is the second police dog for his handler, Senior Constable Shane Kavner. They are stationed at the Bundaberg Dog Squad, where they will perform general purpose duties as a police dog team. Harm and Shane have made their television debut on Channel 9's Send In The Dogs Australia and will feature later in this year. Police Dog Z is the first police dog for his handler, Senior Constable Martin Wilson. They are also stationed at the Sunshine Coast Dog Squad, where they will perform general purpose duties as a police dog team. Police dog Hooch is the third police dog for his handler, Senior Constable Steve Lindsay. They are stationed at the Ipswich Dog Squad, where they will perform general purpose duties as a police dog team. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the induction of the police dog on parade today. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the principal official guest, the Honourable Julie Atwood, MP, Parliamentary Secretary for Health and Member for Mount Omini will now address the parade. Good evening everyone. It's great to be here tonight to witness this wonderful parade and can I say that all of the 95 recruits standing in front of me look absolutely wonderful. I'd like to first acknowledge a number of important people here tonight. Commissioner for Police, Bob Atkinson. Deputy Commissioner, Special Operations, Ross Barnett. Deputy Commissioner, Regional Operations, Ian Stewart. Chairperson, Crime and Misconduct Commission, Martin Moynihan. Member for Noosa, Glenn Elms, who is the Shadow Minister for Police. Member for Springwood, Barbara Stone. Member for Chatsworth, Steve Kilburn. General President of the Police Union of Employees, Ian Leaders. President of Queensland Police Commissioned Officers Union, Tony Cross. Members of the QPS Senior Executive, Commissioned Officers, Distinguished Guests, Police Officers, Ladies and Gentlemen, and our new recruits. I'm very pleased to be here tonight to represent Police Minister Neil Roberts to officially welcome these recruits into the Queensland Police Service. Tonight, 95 new constables will begin their careers as police officers. Throughout their careers, the principal duty of these officers will be to serve and protect the people of Queensland. They will play a very important role in maintaining law and order in the communities to which they are stationed. 
a role that I, like the large majority of communities that they will serve, deeply appreciate and respect. They will be expected to exhibit impeccable integrity, professionalism and accountability. They will be proud to work as much with their local communities as with their peers to foster a safe and secure Queensland. I'd like to thank each and every one of these new inductees in advance for their commitment to this cause. I'd also like to acknowledge their achievements in making it this far and acknowledge the challenges that still lie ahead for them. The Queensland community takes great pride in the quality of recruits who graduate from this academy. And you should all be very, very proud of your achievements to date. I'd also like to extend my thanks to all those who assisted these recruits to get where they are tonight. The support they have received, not only from the QPS, but also from their families and friends during their journey, has no doubt been indispensable. Apart from inducting these new police officers, however, tonight also sees another key achievement of our police service. As a result of these recruits being stored, sworn in, Queensland Police Service will have bolstered its ranks to be 10,500 strong. This is fantastic news for communities throughout Queensland. And we are committed to doing all we can to ensure the number of police on our streets only continues to grow in the future. Thank you again all for attending and good luck. Each and every one of you possible. Thank you. 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 And support the Queensland Police Service Academy training program. It's through the generosity of our sponsors that we are able to acknowledge the recipients for their achievements during the recruit training. Commissioner and members of the Queensland Police Service thank our sponsors for their ongoing support for recruit training. Commissioner Atkinson will present the Commissioner's Award for Professionalism to recruit his man Holden. This award is presented for highest achievement in government on technical attributes, diligence, integrity, serious performance, academic results, and service. Ladies and gentlemen, recruits comments. <laughs> Superintendent Paul Walsko, Education and Training Command, and you present the Criminal War Award to recruit ladies commanders. This award is sponsored by the Buddhist Compassion Relief Suchi Foundation and is presented to the recruits to attain the highest aggregate score in personal and property law during recruit training. We thank the superintendent Bosco for making today's presentation on behalf of the foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, recruit sponsors. <laughs> Mr. Ian Leavis, General President, Queensland Police Union of Employees, will present the Ducks Award to recruit to Rebecca Hall. This award recognises excellence in academic studies. We would like to acknowledge the Police Union, which has presented a medal to St Michael, the Archangel, and Patron Saint of Police to its graduating hospital. We thank our union for the years of support to this training, and in particular to Mr. Lee today making the presentation.
ladies and gentlemen, for the first one. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please stand now for the initiation of the oath and an affirmation of the Preface by the word I state your given name and surname in full. I Do I repeat your oath or affirmation of office after me? Swear by the mighty God that I will well and truly serve my sovereign Queen Elizabeth II. My sovereign Queen Elizabeth II. The heirs and successors, <laughs> according to law and the office of constable, <laughs> or in such capacity as I may be appointed, promoted, or reduced, <laughs> without favour, affection, malice, or ill will, <laughs> from this day until I am discharged. That I will cause Her Majesty's peace to be kept and preserved. That I will prevent to the best of my power all offences against the same. And that while I am a member of the Queensland Police Service, I will to the best of my skill and knowledge Discharge all duties legally imposed upon me faithfully and according to law. So help me God. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. To your offices.
Second rank will retire. I bow. Turn. Many ranks. One pace. Step forward. Fuck. Third rank will best the signed documents. Find us an hour. for today's parade is composed of facilitators from the Proof Program. The flag party carries the Queensland State flag on the right, with the Queensland Police Service flag on the left. The flag party commander this afternoon is Sergeant Lisa Duncan, and the flag bearers are Sergeant Charmaine Leaf and Acting Sergeant Kat Maddock. Today's parade would not be a success without the continued support and professionalism from the Queensland Police Pipes and Drums. The Pipes and Drums were the McDonald's Glen Gary Tartans. The Pipes and Drums had their main shop previous sale and had been purchased from their neighbourhood after the graduation. The drum major today is actually in the Sergeant Peter Hedgeson, the Pipe Major, Mr. Robbie McDonald, and the drum sergeant.
or would like to take a title of this, provide permission for the first time for the to redeem the commandments, we give them it free to attend the ceremony, and for more, so we are here for the fruits of the parade.
Joint Sergeant Tom Malloy was accorded this honour at his final induction parade before his retirement from the Queensland Police Service. Bless them with a willing graciousness 
to accept the system. Be present with these officers and the challenges of the new profession so that at the end of every shift they may, with confidence and pride, know that they have certain problems. May Almighty God bless you and the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain Ramsden.
Thank you.